Hi, my name's Scott Whitley, and uh, this is lesson four in uh, my series of uh, slap basics, free slap bass lessons. Um, today we're going to look at um, uh, the second of, of the, the slap patterns I'm going to show you. Uh, in lesson two, I showed you this pattern, okay? Okay, if you want a full breakdown of that, if you have a look at... Um, Lesson two, uh, I break that down into uh, great detail. Um, today we're going to do um, a variation on that. Um, and we're going to call it slap pattern two, and that sounds like this. Here we go. Two, three, four. Okay, similar kind of thing. Uh, it starts off with a, a slap, a left hand slap, a dead slap while you're muting the strings there like this okay okay and then the second half is this we do a, a pull uh, first finger on the seventh fret on the G string there okay you're gonna pull that do a left hand slap hold the fingers dead in the strings and do a muted thumb okay or a muted slap so that's like this okay and then it just finishes off with a hammer on from the seventh fret to the ninth. Uh, that's from a, a flat seven in the key of E to uh, to the E itself, the root. Okay, so let me show you that slowly, all put together. Here we go. Two, three, four. Bit slower still here we go so let me show you how that sounds at uh, about 120 bpm with with some drums so you get the idea Okay, so once you've got that uh, down and you're comfortable with it, what you can do is, um, for a start, you can mix and match between um, uh, slap pattern one and slap pattern two. I'll do that now, I'll switch between the two. Here we go. So we'll start with slap pattern one, which was and then I'll switch to the one I've just shown you. Here we go. Okay. okay. Um, <clears throat> and then what you can do is, um, is with this new pattern I've shown you, you could quite easily change the notes that you use to uh, to do the hammer on with. So rather than just do um, um, the seventh fret to the ninth on the E string, which is um, say flat seven to the octave to the E, you could do uh, a four to a five, which should be the same frets but on the on the the D string here. So that'd be like this. So I'm doing the first pull still on the um, on the G string, okay, but I'm doing the hammer on on the D string. That sounds like this with the drums. Here we go. Okay, you could do uh, that movement, the original one, an octave lower. So that'd be the fifth fret on the A string to the seventh. That'd sound like this. Uh, and to be honest, you can just mix and match um, using that same pattern, the same movement, the same slap, left hand slap, slap, pull on, left hand slap, slap, and hammer on. I'll just play a few variations of that. 
the, the right hand should be doing the same all the time if I get this right. Um, I'm just going to pretty much be using um, uh, E minor, E minor notes. Uh, we'll talk a bit more about that in another lesson, but I'm just mainly going to use notes from this scale. Okay. idea that you can use that same pattern but just mix around the notes that you play so um, have fun with it don't forget to mix and match it with slap pattern one uh, that I showed you in lesson two and, um, and don't forget to practice very slowly and build the speed up I mean start at about sort of 50 even 40 BPM uh, I'll seriously just before I, I sign off let me give you an example of that I mean this is the real deal this is what you want to be doing Get it right down, that's at 47 BPM. Okay, so if you can get it really tight at that speed, then just move your tempo up on your metronome or your drum machine by about 5 or 10 BPM at a time and just keep doing that and just slowly, 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 slowly build it up till you're in the kind of 120 BPM sort of range and it'll sound really funky. Have fun, see you next time. For more information on this or any other bass related topic or if you'd like to inquire about Skype lessons, please visit scott-wickley.com or email scott at scott-wickley.com